e-learning studio subtraction properties hello kids welcome back in today's video we will learn about subtraction properties kids just like we have some properties of addition and they helped us to do addition sums so kids similarly we have the properties of subtractions also there are three properties of subtraction one by one we are going to learn so let's see the first property which is zero property of subtraction kids on screen you can see a boy which has five balloons but he does not want to give any balloon to his sister so he will be left with his five balloons he doesn't give anything to his sister here we subtract nothing so now we are subtracting 0 5 minus 0 is equal to 5 here kids in this property when we subtract 0 from a number the result is that number means we get the same number back let's take an example to understand this property for example when we minus 0 from 324 we get 324 and again we subtract 58 minus 0 we get 58 itself kids when we subtract 0 from any number we get the same number it means we are not taking away anything now move to our next property which is subtracting itself kids on screen you can see a boy which has five balloons but he wants to give all five balloons to his sister so he will be left with zero balloons he gave all the balloons to his sister here we subtract all balloons which means kids when we subtract a number from that number itself the result is zero kids for example 56 minus 56 is equal to 0 it means when we subtract 56 from 56 we get 0 In another example when we subtract 246 from 246 we get 0. So in this property when we subtract a number from itself we get 0. Kids our next property is where adding the subtrahend to the difference will always be equal to the minus end. Let's take an example to understand this property. So in this example we have 265 minus 35 it equals to 230 in this question 265 is minuend 35 is subtrahend and 230 is difference according to this property when we add subtrahend with the difference value we get minuend as you can see on the screen here 230 is difference value 35 is subtrahend and when we add both we get minus end value 265 kids let's take another example of this property we have in this example we have 345 minus 30 which is equal to 315 in this question 345 is minus end 30 is subtrahend and 315 is difference we know kids according to this property when we add subtrahend with the difference value we get minus end as you can see on the screen here 315 is difference value 30 is subtrahend and when we add both we get minus end value which is 345 kids one more benefit of this property is to cross check subtraction we have to use the third property of subtraction thank you happy learning